Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fun Q&A, get ready with me. So we are going to full on do hair. Every single makeup product I'm using, I will mention. I will also link them down below. So a while ago, well, a few days ago at this point, I asked for some questions over on Instagram. I've gotten a lot of questions recently on my makeup routine. So I thought it would be fun to do a Q&A while I get ready to film some videos and walk through my makeup process and show you what I use. So that's what we're going to do in this video. My hair turned out really great. When you see the next clip, we're not so sure how it's gonna turn out, but I think it turned out really good. So let's get into the get ready portion. Thank you so much for submitting these questions. I hope you enjoy this video and let's go. We're trying a couple of different hair techniques. I ran out of Velcro rollers. So then I tried a new curling technique. I'm realizing right now that piece, it didn't happen. So let's do a little bit of makeup, a lot of it actually, and then we will answer some questions as we go. So I'm gonna go in, I love this um, It Cosmetic CC Cream. I have Fairlight Light, and I'm pretty sure this one's medium even though it's rubbed off on the back. I have a little bit of a fake tan, so I'm gonna go in with the light. I also really like the nude glow version of it. That's more of like a tinted BB cream-ish type, I guess. We're gonna hope that we can do all of this with these curlers in my hair. I didn't really think it through, if I'm being honest. I should have either curled or, like I should have counted my Velcro rollers first, but. We didn't, and they're in, so let's go. All right, first question we have, uh, what are you looking forward to most in 2023? Y'all know I live for vacations and summertime. I have to have something to look forward to for some reason, it just gets me so excited. And we do have a concert coming up in March in Nashville, so I'm very excited for that. I did get some new cowboy boots for Christmas, so you know. Nashville cowboy boots. I'll be wearing those. So I don't know if I have like a one. I'm most looking forward to this one thing, but like vacations and summertime. I'm just a different person in summertime. Me and Brian were talking about it the other day and I said, isn't Taryn, like summertime Taryn, a different Taryn than winter Taryn? And he agreed. So I'm going to go with that. How many times do you color your hair? I go every five, six, seven-ish weeks. My hair, it grows fast and I have a lot of it. And so y'all know I went a little bit darker and then I changed my mind and went a little bit lighter. So with lighter hair, unless you get some sort of root smudge, you can see like your root line pretty quick. So I'll go sooner. But if I get the root smudge, then I'll wait a little bit longer. It just really depends. I like the lighter hair on me. Like the darker hair I like too, don't get me wrong, but the blondish, like this color, maybe even a little bit lighter, I really, really like. We have a lot of questions as well. If I'm moving through pretty fast, it's because I think I had eight pages of Instagram questions. I asked over on Instagram, by the way, if I didn't say that already. I can't get to that side right there. What's your favorite thing about living in Mobile, my family? It's the only reason I stay. Not that I don't like Mobile. I grew up here, but... I don't have a ton of friends here and my family lives here. So they're the reason I stay. I always said that if I could talk my entire family into packing up and moving because I can work from anywhere, then I would. But obviously not everyone can work from anywhere. So that's probably one of the main, probably the main reason I stay here. Favorite brand for workout clothes. I really have been liking those Lululemon shorts that I got. I did a video and purchased the Align bike shorts and I really like them. I'll link that video down below. Tops I wear. I have a Lululemon top I like, which I'm, I think I got in that video. If not, I'll try to find it and link it down below. I like the Old Navy Active Crop Tanks because they're um, a little bit more of like a moisture wicking thinner material, but they are still cotton. So those are probably the couple brands. Athleta, I have a pair of bike shorts and a top that I really like. I do have somewhere to go after this, so I need it. <laughs> I need it to look pretty decent. Can we be friends? Of course. I feel like we're all friends anyways. 
Don't y'all. I mean, I don't talk, like I don't see you as I'm talking to you, but we talk in the comment section. I say that a lot. Um, and so I feel like when I see your usernames, whether it's your actual name or like a handle, I know who you are and I'm familiar with maybe where you live, what kind of style you have, like things like that. So I feel like we are friends. Top places to try and travel to in 2023. We talked about going to visit Brian's sister. She lives in Reno for the holidays, so that would be nice. I always like tropical locations. However, we're doing something different, Brian and I, we're doing something different this year for our, like one vacation we do every year, like vacation away. We're not counting like nights away and stuff. So stay tuned for that because it'll be a fun little process of figuring out where we're gonna go. By the way, this is the Eco Tools blending sponge. I really like these. All right, next we're gonna go in with the Givenchy, is that how you say it? Prism Libre in the color or shade three Violet Rose. And I'm just gonna put this under my eyes, on my eyelids, maybe like around my nose and forehead, pretty much where I would crease. I don't really get oily per se. I do get a little bit sweaty as I'm filming, but I feel like that's pretty normal. I'm gonna pat out where the creases are. I mean, think about it this way. If you curled your hair, blow dried and curled your hair and put on a bunch of makeup and then went into a fitting room and tried clothes on, you'd probably be a little bit warm too. How did you get into modeling? YouTube. So I started making YouTube videos a long time ago at this point, six, seven years ago. And brands or boutiques, businesses, companies, whatever, started finding my YouTube videos. And so it started out as, hey, we're gonna send you some things for YouTube. Can you take some extra pictures so we can use them on the website? So those are things that I would do myself. And then other boutiques that were nearby reached out and said, hey, we're close enough. Are you willing to drive? And I said, yes. And so that's how that happened. And I started going regularly. I did have, um, you, they do, what am I trying to say? Like test shoots. So you go and you show up and you say, hey, I'm here for a test shoot. And they do a photo shoot with you. And then they decide if they like you enough to bring you on board or not. Um, I've never gone to a test shoot where I didn't get the job. So that's nice. Well, for modeling, like other things in life, obviously I've not always gotten the job outside of like YouTube and marketing and stuff like that. But for the most part, um, every time I've shown up, I've gotten the modeling job. What's your dream brand partnership? Hmm. I don't really do like a ton of makeup things. Like you're watching me do my makeup now, but I, this is, I have one look. It's either all or nothing. Sometimes I won't do the eyeliner and that's like the chilled version of it. Sometimes I'll just use bronzer on my eyelids instead of actual, um, eyeshadow. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But this is the same look I do every time. I have this BH Cosmetics pack of brushes. And then I'm going to go in. I have some older ones mixed in there too. I'm going to go in with this Hoola Benefit Mini Hoola bronzer. It was like a free gift at Ulta. So I snagged it up. Which, by the way, I partnered with Ulta for an Instagram thing. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, Y'all know I recently partnered with Walmart. I don't know. Maybe like, I love. y'all know I love shopping at Target. I love shopping in general over like makeup products. It's just more fun to me. Maybe if I was better at makeup and had more looks, a little bit more of a diverse look that I could do, then maybe I would like it a little bit more. Um, so I'd probably go with like more affordable clothing like we did Walmart, but like Target, Old Navy, people really love when I do Old Navy videos. I would love to do more modeling with brands versus just like collabs where they send me clothes and I do videos here for YouTube because I can always do a behind the scenes for YouTube. Like if Target wanted me to come out and do something cool with them for their social media and their website, I can always film behind the scenes and I think that's just as fun to watch. So that's probably what I would say. I don't really, in my head, I don't have like a list of companies that I want to work with. I guess I probably should. I'm just surprised that I'm here to begin with, if I'm being honest. I just started making YouTube videos, not really on a whim, but I worked in television at the time 
and I loved watching YouTube videos and I started watching makeup tutorials and like hair tutorials and stuff because I worked in news and we did our own hair and makeup. And so that's what I started watching. And then it just grew into, well, why can't I make videos? Like I don't see a lot of people my size that work on air and television. So let me start doing it. And that's kind of what started it. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the bronzer shade. I know they have a light, a medium and a darker one, I'm pretty sure. Hi, what are you doing down here? Back it up. So I'm just gonna go a little less precise, more like cheekbone area. You can't see her back there. Favorite items or products of 2022. I love this bronzer, but I mention it every time. I love the Purology Strength line for hair care, the blue bottles. Um, let's see what else. Mm, I don't know. Let me think about that one. Let me think about that one. Do you still use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation? I don't as much. Well, I don't have any at the moment because I found that at Cosmetics one, but I used to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation every day when I worked in television and I was on like HD 4K TV for hours every day and I would wear that and I loved it. Maybe I need to get back into that. I should buy me another one. Um, how do Brian's kids react to you being so much younger than him? Brian has one son. He lives in South Florida. When I met him, he's in his like mid to late, he was in his mid to late twenties at the time. We're not that much different in age. I want to say we're like seven, eight years apart. He's younger than me. Um, the, it wasn't a thing. I met him for the first time. He came into town when Brian um, was very sick and I picked him up at the airport. So Brian was in the hospital. I picked him up at the airport. He stayed here at the house. Brian's sister was in town as well. Um, and it wasn't a thing like we didn't talk about it. it it's not an issue. So uh, what are your favorite videos to make? Clothing videos. I like vlogs. Here's the deal. I like watching vlogs. I like making them as well because I think it's fun, but I don't really do a lot of fun stuff. That's the only thing. Maybe if I went and did more things, it would be more fun. I don't know. Y'all seem to really like the vlogs though, because I've talked about getting rid of them because I don't get as many views on the vlogs as I do other videos. But anytime I mention it, I have an overwhelming response of people saying, please do not get rid of the vlogs. So probably clothing videos. I wanna do a better job this year of trying newer, like plus size brands. I'll be honest though, I'm a, I'm a little bit over it with the small amount of brands that carry plus size. Like, yes, I can probably get high end plus size clothes, but I can't afford to, and most people can't afford to buy $300 pair of jeans. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over the amount of stores that I can shop in. You know, does anybody else ever feel that way? So I'd like to branch out and try to find more options because I would be more happy and I, I would love to be able to introduce y'all to more brands as well. By the way, I'm using these Makeup Geek shadows. I've put them in this Z, pa Z palette. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it came in a BoxyCharm box years ago because I haven't had BoxyCharm in years. So we have Beach Please and Latte as usual that I'm just putting on the lid and I'm gonna do the same colors under. I'm very sloppy at this, like I said. I'm not very good at makeup. <laughs> I do have a couple of makeup, um, not really tutorials, but looks saved on TikTok that I really wanna try. So we may do that. And then Espresso Yourself, I am going to use on an angled brush as liner. Oh my gosh, we have so many questions. I need. I need to focus. Uh, do you guys plan on having children? Sorry if it's already been asked and answered. No, we do not plan on having children. You are so, you are so incredibly beautiful. Not a question, just a fact. Thank you, Robin. Y'all are so nice. You, if you could live anywhere else, where would it be? I'm trying to live, okay, tropical locations or I went to Nashville one time and I really liked it. I could also live in like, Destin area. I could live in 99 degrees sweltering heat every single day. No cool air, no cool seasons for the rest of my life. And I would be just fine with that. We're already on page three. We're doing pretty good. 
Can we see more of sister time in your vlogs? Yes, I need to figure out a schedule so that Candace and I like plan things out a little bit better because right now it's just like a random day. Hey, you want to grab lunch? Yeah. And then I'm like, Oh, let me vlog this because the people like her. So yes, I would love to. I just need to, we need to get a better schedule. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, Til, Tilbury, Tilbury airbrush flawless finish in one fair. I'm just going to take it on a brush and wipe away that powder that we put on in the beginning. And then before I go ahead with my mascara, I'm gonna spray this Morphe, the continuous setting spray. I have a jumbo version. I like it because it is continuous. You don't have to pump to get it to come out. It's like one hold. It smells pretty good. It's like a hairspray-ish, so I like it. And then I just wait a few minutes and fan it off. Favorite YouTubers? Okay, I... Anytime Nicole Guerrero posts, I will watch it. I also love, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? She just posted a video with her and her sister. Super dark hair. Oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Carly, Carly, Carly Bible. I'm pretty sure is her name. There's a ton of them. Oh my gosh, who else? I've actually been re-watching The Newlyweds on YouTube. You know, Jessica Simpson, Nick Lachey, when they were married, they had a reality show called The Newlyweds. I've been re-watching that. I actually re-watched it, part of it, while I was blow drying and putting my hair in curlers. So I do stuff like that. A lot of times I'll watch music videos. So there's, those are a the couple of people I can think of off the top of my head that anytime they post, I will pause what I'm doing to watch. And there's other ones too. I will list them down below. Are you still looking for land? What would your new home look like? Modern or traditional or farmhouse? So a few, several vlogs ago at this point, I mentioned that I had put an offer in on seven acres. I think it was, it was accepted and we were buying this land. And I was so excited because I bought it as a surprise for Brian because we've talked about several times that we wanted pretty much me. I've always wanted land and to build a house. So when this land came up, it was in the perfect location. It was like out in the country, but not too far out. It was a beautiful, almost like pie shaped, sort of triangle shaped piece. So we were going to build more in the back in the middle and then have all this. It was beautiful. Okay. Stunningly beautiful. I tell Brian about it. Like I, I tell him, first of all, I'm like, listen, I found this land that I think that we would like. He didn't know that I'd already had my offer accepted on it. So I'm like, can we just go ride by and look at it? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we ride over and he's looking at it and he's like, this is really nice. Cause it's, it's next to, um, like it was next to a farm, like all around, like farms all around, like big acreage farm. So nothing was going to be built there. You know what I'm saying? It's a great spot. And so I'm like, well, I bought it. And it was like, I don't know. I was so excited. And we started looking at home plans and talking with architects and like doing all this stuff short term because we had a perk test done, which is a soil test. And turns out the majority of it was wetlands and only about two acres could be built on, which is fine. But I just, I was uncomfortable buying that much of wetlands that we couldn't, like what if we wanted to do something different in the future we couldn't. So we ended up backing out. And ever since then, I'm still looking, but nothing that incredible has come up. So what we've decided to do for now, I'm just gonna curl my lashes while I'm talking. What we've decided to do for now is just do the last few upgrades to this house that we want. So we've done all hardwood floors throughout. We've done our bathroom and the hallway bathroom. Y'all have seen that. We redid the kitchen pretty early on. We've painted the whole house on the inside, not the outside. Let's see, there's gotta be a few other things that we've done. But what I really wanna do is this room because I still have carpet in here. I wanna do some sort of cool wall something. I wanna put the wood floors in here. I want to redo the kitchen. So when we redid the kitchen, this was when we first moved in and we put new countertops in and just painted the exist existing cabinets white, which is great. I mean, they're very nice, don't get me wrong but I would like to reconfigure the kitchen a little bit. We've got an extra corner short wall space that is not load bearing that we can get rid of. So I would like to get rid of that and make it a little bit more open. The island is right now 
vertical. If you're looking at it, I want to make it horizontal, put a sink in it. So just things like that. So we've talked about that. So I think we're going to try to do those things. However, I'm still looking every day, <laughs> not every day, but maybe once a week. I'll log on and just look at land. The realtor that was helping us, like if something comes up, she knows to send it to me. So maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll see. L'Oreal Voluminous Original in the color Blackest Black. I'm not very good at fake lashes, so I don't do them. I have a ton of them. I somehow got signed up for Kiss, that company that makes lashes and press on nails their PR list and they send the cutest press on nails and lashes. Like I even have magnetic lashes in this drawer over here. So I really want to sit down one way, one day and figure out, you know what I mean? Figure out how to use them. New Year's resolutions. No, uh, I don't really have any. I'm trying to go to a beach. You know what I mean? <laughs> trying to be at the beach. Oh, okay. You know what? No, I will say this. I've been doing hot yoga for probably on and off for years, but most recently for the last month consistently, I've gone on average like three days a week. So I would say I need to continue to do that because y'all know I trained with Carly for the longest time for, oh my gosh, a year and a half. And I had the, towards the end, the worst like hip pain. And so I thought, you know what, let me just go back to what I know will help me. And that's hot yoga. And since I've been doing it, I've had no pain. Like maybe slightly here and there, but it's nothing like it was before. So I need to continue doing that. If that's going to help me in the long run and keep me out of physical therapy and having to take pain medicine and stuff like that, or at least hold it off as long as possible. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say hot yoga. And I need to consistently clean out my closets more. It's a whole different story in there. Favorite and least favorite thing about yourself? Favorite thing. Well, this is in general because this is right off the top of my head. I feel like I can get along with anyone. I love meeting new people and making new friends. I'm always the person like whenever I worked in newsrooms or in like marketing departments and stuff, I loved when they hired new people because I felt like it was an opportunity like to make new friends and I'm such a people person. So that's probably something that I would say is a one of my more favorite traits about myself. Least favorite is I feel like I want to do everything and I need to pace myself. You get what I'm saying? Like I want to try all these clothing brands and go do this and this and this and I need to really make a plan instead of just like willy nilly trying to do things. And I think that's what holds me back is I don't have a plan. So therefore I don't do any of those things. So I need to make a plan. We're gonna go in with this Maybelline Sky High in the shade um, Black is Black. I don't love this, but I own it. So this is what goes on my lower lashes. I'll list all of these products and try to find them and link them down below for you. Cause I know that's just so much easier for a lot of people. Favorite kids names. I know you're not having any, but just for fun. I've never thought about it. <laughs> I do like, okay, I'll take that back. When I was younger, I liked double names. I knew a girl like elementary school. Her name was Laura Ashley. And I thought that was the prettiest thing. So I tried for a while to make Taryn Denise stick as what people called me and it didn't. Everyone just calls me Taryn. So I'll say those. Did you always know you didn't want kids? Wow, we're hitting hard with the kid questions. No, for a long time when I was younger, I wanted a lot of kids. And I think it's because I grew up with one sister and a single mom. So it was just the three of us all the time. And I guess I just wanted, oh, sorry. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Pretty sure this is the universal taupe. Yeah, universal taupe. Um, I don't do much to my brows. I'm just gonna fill them in a tiny, tiny bit. So yeah, when I was younger and maybe through early college, I guess, I did want a lot of kids. And then it just got to be, like I got older, I, sacrificed a lot of my relationships for my career at the time, which I worked in television news. So it wasn't really a thing. If you wanted to move up, you had to move around like to bigger markets and stuff. So you have to start small, move up to bigger markets. And I just knew that like having kids and doing that wasn't an option. So it kind of just fell by the wayside. And now that I am quite a bit older, it's just not, a, I don't know. I don't desire to have children anymore. I'm very, very content and happy with my life. 
and I love spoiling my nieces. We're moving on through. Uh, how old are you and how old is your sister? I am younger, whether you believe it or not, because one time a woman at Target told her that she looked younger than me. Um, so I am 36 and my sister, I think she just turned 39. We're two and a half-ish years apart. So I'll be 37 before she's 40. Where are you planning your next vacation? Again, just wait. Brian and I are gonna do a fun little something to talk about our next vacation. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It is my all-time favorite. It is broken and I'm just very careful. This is, it's disgusting. This is the mini version. So I'll just take a tiny little brush and put it in. Someone told me one time, I guess in, within the same video, like kind of like this one, I'd had no makeup on and then makeup on and someone was like, is that the same person? <laughs> It's me, it's definitely still me. I didn't put any blush on. LA Colors, this is from Dollar Tree. This is in Toast. I go back and forth using this. Someone actually asked me a while back if I still used it and it made me use it again. It's just so pretty. It's, well, now it's $1.25. When I bought this one, it was a dollar. Now it's $1.25. Still worth it in my opinion. It's just a beautiful color. Now I'm gonna just take a random brush and sort of blend all that in. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I hope the dog doesn't knock over the camera. I do have, stand by, stand by, this lipstick. I tried it recently, it's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the color Rose Velvet 130. I think it's really pretty. Which do you find more lucrative, YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok? TikTok. I wanna find the glass shine version of this, but it's sold out everywhere. Look how pretty that is. It's so close to my natural lip color. Okay, sorry. Which do you find more lucrative? YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok? TikTok, wow. Definitely YouTube. Um, so YouTube, I am paid, Google owns YouTube. So Google is the one that direct deposits into my account. They pay you based on the ads placed within your video. Now I don't place the ads, YouTube and Google choose the ads based on my type of video and your search history. So they choose what type of ads you see and how many ads you see in each video. All I do is check a box that says, yes, please allow ads. And then I get paid a percentage of the ads that play within my video. Now, if you skip ads and stuff like that, it doesn't count and that's okay. You do you. you if you don't wanna watch the ads, don't watch them. <laughs> I don't watch them all the time either. Um, so that's how I'm paid from YouTube. Instagram, Facebook owns Instagram. The only way I'm paid through Facebook, Instagram right now is for reels. I was posting a bunch of reels. I got a notification on Instagram that said, hey, we'll pay you if you reach a certain number or we'll pay you until you reach a certain number of views on your reels. And I said, okay. And then that renews like every month they can come back and say, let's do it again. Or we don't want to do that again with you. TikTok, I'm not really sure because I haven't actually gotten paid for anything from TikTok. I am part of the creator platform and I think there's like $10 in there, but I think you have to have a certain amount of money before they will. Like you can transfer the money to your account. So I, I'm not really sure. TikTok is an entity, an entity in itself. So I'm pretty new to that. And then also I get paid by working with brands. So brands will reach out to me and say, hey, we love your channel. Can we send you some things for you to do a review? I say, yes, here are my rates. They say, okay, or we negotiate. They send the items. A lot of times, most times anyways, there's contracts involved. Uh, everybody signs. We get the products, do the video, and then usually it's, sometimes it's the same week I get paid from them. Sometimes it's 30 days later. Sometimes it's 90 days later. It just depends on what is written in the contract. And then I also accept like paid partnerships within YouTube. I'm within Instagram and TikTok. So that's a separate thing. Brands will say, hey, can we buy an Instagram post or reel or TikTok or all three? I say yes. Again, here's the rates, let's sign everything. Everyone's happy. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, would you please do skincare and makeup ap application vlogs? Hello, we're doing makeup right now. Uh, what are your typical terms of brand offers you work with? Um, again, it's typically, we're gonna send you these items in exchange for a dedicated YouTube video, X amount of minutes long. Usually it's at least like five, seven-ish minutes up. 
a lot of times they'll say we don't want them more than 10 or 12 minutes because a lot of times people won't watch that much of a video totally understandable they own the rights to all of that video like they're purchasing the review and therefore they own like i own it like we share ownership of the review so they're allowed to use that within their own channels paid ads sponsorships all that stuff um, a lot of times well more recently i've done ugc work which is user generated content work which is a brand will ask me to create a video and just send them the video it doesn't appear anywhere on my social media pages, YouTube, anything, and they use that specifically for their own promotion. So if you do see me pop up some places, most likely, and you haven't heard me talk about it here on my YouTube channel, it's most likely UGC content. Contract-wise, figure out a price, a time frame of when posting happens, and that's it. It's pretty simple. I don't have my own contract that I make brand sign, but I do, like, I read all the contracts that they send me, and if I'm not 100% happy with something, then I say, hey, uh, let's do this date instead, or let's change this, or if I'm agreeing to maybe accept a little bit like uh, less money for the collab, then maybe they aren't allowed to use it in their paid ads, like things like that we negotiate on a lot. Brian, I, <laughs> funny enough, I call him my husbander because I'm very familiar with contracts from working in TV, but he is always on this train, this mindset of know your worth. He says that to me a lot because a lot of times I wanna work with a brand, but I know like they've reached out to me and said, hey, we're not doing paid collaborations right now. Can we give you things? Like, can we send you some clothing in exchange for a YouTube video? And I'll want to try the brand. And so I'll want to say yes, but then I've seen the same brand, I'm just turning on this curling iron again in case this doesn't work out. I've seen the brand do paid collabs with friends that I follow on YouTube and Instagram. And he'll say, well, that's not very fair of them to not pay you, but to pay them. And you get where I'm going with this. So know your worth is a big thing anywhere you work. This is uh, my job. So I do, I mean, I don't work for free. So I think it's only fair to know your worth and fight for your rates and what you want. Anyway, that was a very long-winded answer. Moving on, any vacation plans? We know eventually Brian and I will get together with y'all and we'll figure this out. All right, we're getting to the end. Have you ever felt people can be judgmental on your videos? People are ruthless, I'm gonna tell you that. And I do have filters set up within YouTube so a lot of times I don't even see the comments with certain words in them that I can like put into a search bar and YouTube won't show me those comments if these certain words are in it. So a lot of times I don't even see the comments, so jokes on them. But yes, people, everyone has an opinion and everyone thinks their opinion is the end all be all. But if I listen to everyone's opinion, I would have six different hair colors. I would wear 27 different colors on my body every single day, 15,000 different styles of clothes. Like you just, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy and you can't worry about what other people think. People are mean, let me just say that. Some, some people, not everyone, but a good majority of people are mean. And what surprises me the most is it's mostly women. I do get like men, obviously, who are gonna make mean comments, but it's mostly women. And that just surprises me. Okay, I don't think that this is like working out for me. Have you ever been to New Hampshire? I have not. We've talked about going back or going in general because that's where Brian is from, but I, uh, I have never been. I did plug my curling. Oh my God, look at that volume. Y'all saw me plug this in. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to curl it. Like I curled the back already with a new technique. So I guess it's fun that you get to see the new technique. I don't know, that's not bad. But yeah, we're gonna curl it. So I'm gonna go in with some of this is Dry Bar Hot Toddy, like a heat protecting mist that I've really been liking. The story behind your name, a fellow Taryn here. Oh, she spells hers T-A-R-I-N, not many of us. My mom was pregnant and went into a store called Balloons Are Everywhere here in town, I guess to order some balloons. And the girl at the front, she said her name was Taryn. 
She was super nice, super cute and helpful. And here I am. If you didn't do YouTube or news reporting, what would be your career choice, your choice career? I've always wanted to work with like sea animals. You know, like a marine biologist was something I always thought was cool. I did a senior project in high school on um, at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab where I went several times, maybe a, a month, a week. It was, I didn't drive myself, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I didn't go all the time. Um, but I did um, a senior project there on jellyfish. I thought was really cool, but I always wanted to work with some kind of marine life. I don't know. Did I, will I ever, I never have except for that senior project. I'm also terrified of sharks. So will I ever, probably not. Okay, so this is the new technique. It's not new in general, but to me it is. So we're gonna curl the top, let it get warm. I also put my, put it on half the setting. Oh, oh, oh no. Watching me in real time. And then we're gonna do the bottom half. Cause I think my problem is I would curl all of it at the same time and then the ends would be closest to the wand for a long time and i felt like it was really damaging having to deal with a big stomach and a and how you dress for said stomach i will always say to my dying day wear whatever you want to wear who cares if you have a big stomach who the cares other people care and why for what it's not your problem, that's their opinion. But not everyone has my mindset. So, peplum tops are great. God, I keep putting my hand on that, dang it. So, we'll go with peplum tops, like maybe flowier tops with more fitted bottoms, like leggings with a tunic or something like that. I don't know, I don't think, maybe when I was younger, I would, you know, not wanna wear things because I felt like people could see my stomach. And then one time I was out somewhere and I was wearing a pair of like tight pants with a tight top. I was with Brian and we were going to Hibachi and I was kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe that I wore this out pre YouTube days. And he's like, cause people can, can see your stomach. And I was like, well, yeah. And he's like, everybody has one. <laughs> Ever since then I'm like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So that's how I think of it. Do you get recognized in public often? No. I don't. I did more when I worked in television. And sometimes Brian says that at his job, people will come in and see my picture and you know say things like, where do I recognize her from? And they'll say, oh, it's probably TV. And they'll say, oh yeah, yeah, I watch whatever news channel they watch that I was on. So probably that. All right, last question. <laughs> Is a bikini your favorite type of swimsuit? No, I love all swimsuits. I have a ton of really cute one pieces. Like today I'm doing something fun with some one pieces, which you'll see over on Instagram on Sunday. So no, I love all swimsuits equally. As long as they fit me properly and I feel comfortable in it, then I think you should wear whatever you wanna wear. How many times have I said that in this video? <laughs> wear whatever you wanna wear. Oh my gosh, that was the last one. I don't know if this hair is working out, y'all. Okay, okay, not so bad. I like the new technique better than my previous technique already because before, like I said, I would have bigger curls down here, but not so much at the top. And I was trying to eliminate that. Mm, it's a little bit funky. Let's spray. This is the Kenra 25 volume spray. And then because I am working today and then going somewhere, I'm gonna spray in this Amica The Shield anti-humidity spray. Does it work? I think so, so I use it. All right, so that is a wrap on this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button again. All products are listed down below. I will try to find links to them as well to make it easier for you to grab them. Thank you for all of the questions over on Instagram. I do wanna do another one of these with Brian, so if you would like to see that, then just let me know down below and maybe drop some questions. Do we brush it out? Yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, let me know down below your questions and I'll see if I can get Brian in his free time to sit down and we'll do a fun little Q and A. So thanks for watching. Again, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you're watching and I will see you in my next one, bye.